In today's video, I am going to explain anatomy of anterior part of hip. Particularly, I want to focus on inguinal area. Inguinal area. I want to talk about triangular area around inguinal area. Triangular area. That means I want to explain three structures. First one is this one. This is ligament. This is inguinal ligament. Inguinal ligament. Number one. Number two is this muscle. This is sartorius. Sartorius. Number two. Last one. Number three is this muscle. This is adductor longus. adductor longus. See, this is triangular space. It's here. This area is called femoral triangle. Femoral triangle. It is composed by inguinal ligament, sartorius, and adductor longus. Many tissues are passing in this area in femoral triangle. Let me explain that. What kind of tissues are inside of femoral triangle? Let's review. This is femoral triangle. There are few muscles, few nerves, and few blood vessels. Let's talk about muscle first. There's two muscles, mainly two muscles, and plus one muscle. One, two, Three. This one is iliacus. Iliacus. About here. Next one. This one. This is psoas. These two muscles together, it is called iliopsoas, right? Very famous hip flexors. Iliacus and psoas. Next one is this one. This is pectineus. Pectineus, this is tiny adductor muscle. It's smaller than adductor brevis, and of course it's smaller than adductor longus. You remember, adductor longus composes part of femoral triangle, right? Iliacus, psoas, and pectineus. Three muscles are inside of femoral triangle. Let's go to nervous tissues. Basically, there are two nerves inside of femoral triangle. This big nerve around femoral triangle. That's this one. This is femoral nerve. Femoral nerve. This nerve basically innervates quadriceps. This nerve innervates anterior thigh muscles. This is so thick nerve, okay? Femoral nerve. And you see this nerve? This nerve kind of kind of penetrates. It's kind of running inside of femoral triangle. This is lateral femoral cutaneous nerve. Lateral femoral cutaneous nerve. Oh my gosh, it's so long name. This nerve takes sensory information around lateral part of femur. Lateral femoral, right? Cutaneous nerve means sensory nerve. Cutaneous means skin. Thus, this nerve takes sensory information from lateral part of thigh. This nerve runs inside of femoral triangle around here. This nerve is close to ASIS. ASIS is the most anterior part of ilium. This is kind of sharp, bony, prominent. Then, this nerve, lateral femoral cutaneous nerve, is very close to ASIS. Thus, this nerve 
can have impingement with ASIS. What is that? What kind of situation is that? One situation is you do weight lifting. You put weight bar around pelvis and you do hip thrust. You know, there's the one weight training called hip thrust. That can create impingement around this nerve, around ASIS. That's very common because I have felt that it creates numbness around this area and lateral part of hip and pelvis. It's so common for weight training. Anyhow, two nerves inside of femoral triangle. Femoral nerve and lateral femoral cutaneous nerve. Let's go to blood vessels. You see artery and vein. Famous artery and famous vein inside of this triangle. Artery is of course femoral artery. Femoral artery. Vein is of course femoral vein. Femoral vein. Femoral vein is medial from femoral artery. Femoral artery, then medial from femoral artery, there is femoral vein. Why am I talking about that? Because you can palpate femoral artery. It's easy to palpate because artery has pumping movement, right? On the other hand, it's very hard to palpate vein because it doesn't have pump. So once you find femoral artery and you go medial, there is femoral vein. This is how you find femoral artery and vein. Plus, when you find femoral artery, when you find bump movement, then you go lateral. You find femoral nerve. Okay, so it's kind of criteria to find femoral vein and femoral nerve. From femoral artery and you go lateral, you find femoral nerve. From femoral artery and you go medial, you find femoral vein. This relationship is so important, okay? Now, let me add one more structure. Well, it's not about femoral triangle, but close to inguinal ligament, there are a lot of lymphatic nodes. These are lymphatic nodes. So, inguinal area is kind of a terminal of lymphatic system. From lower extremity, from a lower abdomen, lymph goes to inguinal area. Then it goes to deep part of abdomen. Lymph from lower extremity and from lower abdomen goes to, it goes to around inguinal area. See, this part is so important. Plus, inguinal area is so superficial. You easily can palpate femoral artery. You easily can palpate femoral nerve. That means they are so superficial. That means they are not very well protected. Thus, I told you, lateral femoral cutaneous is easily get hurt from weight training. See that? This area is so fragile. Thus, you need to know anatomy. And this is gonna be last part of this video. Okay? This is femoral triangle. Now, you kind of see femur here, right? This area is femur. And this area is head of femur. Head of femur. Head of femur is actually located inside of femoral triangle. Then, if you know where femoral triangle is, now, you put fingers or you put hand here, then you do hip internal rotation or external rotation. You feel something bony bump is moving. 
that is head of femur. Okay, again, it's inside of femoral triangle. And you put fingers or hands around femoral triangle, you do internal rotation and external rotation of hip. You feel bony bump is moving. That is head of femur. This is how I find the how to find head of femur. Maybe there's other way to do, but you know, this is my way to feel head of femur. I hope this information helps your uh, palpation skill. I think this is quite interesting. So this is it. I explained anatomy around inguinal area, around femoral triangle. If you liked today's video, please hit the like button, comment and subscribe. See you next video.